Oh my gosh. Hey guys. So I decided I needed to make a bit of the, uh, blah, 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 another video tonight because I made that other one earlier where I had no makeup on and I felt like so gross looking back at that video like oh my god. So um, I have my makeup on all day today but I redid it in a little bit of a like uh, okay I know I look like a Bratz doll. I just realized that. I looked in the mirror I was like oh my god. I look like a Bratz doll, but I'm over that now. So we're just going to do this video with me looking like a Bratz doll, and I'm going to explain really quickly uh, what this video is about. So anyways, my husband and I were talking about last minute uh, trip planning, and I was explaining to him what my last video was about. I was saying, yeah, well, I, I made this video about, you know, last minute beauty things to do before you leave on a trip. And he's like, well, we really need to talk about that. And, and how much you're going to pack with you because I'm packing really light and I'm like whatever okay so we were just having fun talking about what we would pack you know if we could um, only take a few things with us <laughs> so he was like well what is the like th if you could only take five things with you on a trip what would they be so I've been thinking really long and hard about this because I mean anywhere you go you can pick up clothes you can pick up some beauty products and whatnot and we're going to Paris so I mean it's kind of like the land of fashion and beauty, so I don't think there's too many things I'm going to be like really freaked out about missing. I mean, I have my certain beauty products that I'm really addicted to that, um, oh my gosh, I need to turn this off. I have an air purifier going. It's probably really noisy, so. Okay, so that you can probably hear me better now. Anyways, so. Being in Paris, land of uh, fashion and beauty, like I was saying, um, there's not going to be many things I'm going to be totally without, but there are a few things that are near and dear to my heart that I'm probably going to be wishing that I had and will definitely be in my bag for sure. Okay, so I made a little list right here. Um, let's see. Okay, so when you are traveling extensively, there's going to be times, you know, you're going to wish, oh God, I wish I had my coat or I wish I had an umbrella or whatever. One of the things that I find all the time that I'm like, oh my God, I wish I had is a pair of good sunglasses because not only can a pair of sunglasses be like detrimental to just like keeping sun out of your eyes or whatnot, but a pair of sunglasses can save you from a horrible fashion situation. I mean, let's say I don't have makeup on and then I need to go out and you know grab something real quick in the morning or whatever sunglasses disguise a whole lot of just beauty ails and they're really important to looking good i mean it, a sun pair good pair of sunglasses can change your entire look so i'm just going to show you um, a pair of sunglasses that i will not leave the house without on this trip and then i will show you like a runner up to the things that i'm taking with me so i'll probably end up taking all this stuff but anyways uh, let's start with the first one, uh, Versace. Versace makes beautiful sunglasses. Most of you know that already. But anyways, my grand pick this year for Versace sunglasses is, um, these are model 4313 Versace. Um, they are, I believe these are the Havanas, or the Havana colored sunglasses and I'll come up as close as I can while showing you these. They have a little Versace Medusa head in either side of the sunglasses and these are just so rocking you guys. Um, they're not over the top at all but at the same time just with the tortoiseshell look on the top. Or wait a minute. I don't remember. No the tortoiseshell is around the bottom but they have like this black kind of like an it looks like an eyeliner swoop <laughs> like at the top and I just love these they're so awesome so these kind of finish any look they totally cover up the eyebrow line for me so if I don't have makeup on I can still look pretty glam in these sunglasses I love these I've been kind of hoarding them a little bit in their cute little box so that I wouldn't ruin them for this very specific reason so that's why they're still still in the box and my runner-up to the Versace's, which I will probably throw in my purse, are this year's Pradas. And let's see, I'm trying to remember what model these are. Uh, I think they're like SPR. 
zero one zero. Not really sure. These come in different colors, and this year, um, this year besides having the uh, the tortoiseshell color with the little gold um, accents on either side of the eye, mine are green. I think mine. I think this might be last year's model. I can't remember. But this year they come with the um, tortoiseshell on the on the uh, arm, and also in black, I believe. But these are also just a good go-to pair of sunglasses. They look great on all eye shapes. And I will probably end up taking these as well. I love the gradient lens. <laughs> gradient, gradient, whatever lenses on these. These are perfect. Another good go-to. Obviously, you can see I have like a certain shape I really like in sunglasses, <laughs> which is the oversized look. These have a great case too, by the way. They're just so easy. Just throw in and take with you. So those are my two um, sunglass picks for this year. I got these earlier in the summer. I barely wore them because we didn't have a lot of situations where I needed them. Hello, we're in Portland, Oregon. There's almost no sun here. <laughs> so we did have a warm uh, summer here, but not a lot of situations that called for really nice designer sunglasses. <laughs> so anyways, let's see. Number two. Things that I could not live without that I'm not leaving home without. So, besides sunglasses, I was thinking really hard. Duh, shoes. So, oh, this is a toughie. I mean, we're going to be in France and Italy and Spain. There's going to be a crap ton of shoes, you guys. And one of the most exciting things that I'm looking forward to is um, finally getting to go to a Christian Louboutin shoe store and try on all of the uh, line in all the different shoes um, styles and sizes and finally find out which Louboutins fit me to a T. I'm so afraid to uh, buy Louboutins online and not know exactly what my size are. So that should be interesting. But on my way there, I'm going to need some shoes to wear that look totally bomb, right? So a pair of shoes that I'm totally in love with and would not leave without. They're not, you know, like the perfect walking around shoes. That's why I got my Sorrel, Sorrel, Sorrel boots uh, from Nordstrom the other week, and I show those in my mall haul. But anyways, I will show you a pair of shoes that I am absolutely in love with. And they're just so freaking hot, you guys. These are, these are Vince Camuto. They are in calf hair and leather with a four inch heel. They zip up on the side. Oh my god, you guys. I love these shoes. And sure, this front part rubs my ankle just a tad. Just a tad, you guys. But there is not one outfit that these shoes, you know, offend me in. They've got a gold a gold little uh, zipper pull on them, which is my favorite metal color. You know that, like, when and I find like silver on a on a pull or whatever. Sometimes it destroys a look, and I'm often wearing gold, so I really need my shoes to match that. And these shoes are just to die for, you guys. Soft, beautiful, fake leopard, but on calf hair, so I can forgive that in leather, four inch heel. Oh, it's like sickening how cute these are. These are so going with me. Okay, so I was promised I would show a close runner up to the thing that I'm taking that I could not live without. And I decided that I better go basic because basics are good. And a close runner up and a very comfortable shoe is my Kenneth Cole Melania's and the Melania's, <laughs> okay, this is a simple kind of a kitten heel, uh, patent leather shoe. I love the little, you know, toe straps on these. They are absolutely perfect. There is not one thing about these shoes that is uncomfortable or not to my liking. They are wide enough for my feet and I love them. I love this nude color. I haven't found anything that they look, you know, repulsive with. And the best thing about these shoes is 
I was able to find them in black as well. So, oh, Kenneth Cole, you outdid yourself. I have two pair of kitten, kitten heels, and they go with just about anything. You can wear these with jeans, you can wear these with dresses, you can wear them with cocktail dresses, formal dresses. I don't care what you say, these shoes go with everything. And I don't know how much I paid for these. I know they're still on the market because I saw them. Um, I saw them at. Uh, they were discounting them at Marshalls. I think I saw a pair of them, anyways, there. And uh, so, the Melania's by Kenneth Cole, absolutely adorable. So those are a good go-to. I would not leave the house without them. Sometimes it's very hard to find a good pair of heels that goes with everything. And I'm not going to take any chances by thinking I'm going to find something great in Europe and not having anything comparable to those. So, we move on to, that was like, what, number two? Okay. So, number three. Oh, God. Oh, God. A good designer purse is a girl's best friend. And my best friend is Louis Vuitton's Tureen in GM. That is the giant size, <laughs> according to me, of a... Uh, of Louis Vuitton. I did order this bag in the um, medium size and I was not happy with her at all. So she comes with a strap but mostly I just carry my bags on my elbow and this bag has got it all. It is the most beautiful functional of the uh, current modeled um, bags. Um, I love this bag. I never bought a speedy bag from Louis Vuitton because I've looked them over and they're either too small or they're too big and they're wonky and a lot of the times they look like luggage. When the terrain came out, I was just absolutely gobsmacked by this bag. I mean, I usually try to stay away from this leather that stains really easily. Um, I don't like it at all and it's really not you know, the greatest thing for Portland weather because we rain so much, but I save her for special occasions. And so this size is perfect on this bag. I need a big bag. It has the beautiful kind of purple Auberdeen um, interior. And I'm absolutely in love with this bag. So when I got this bag, and uh, this is gonna be another thing that I could not live without, my husband was sweet enough to buy me the matching wallet. So, none of my wallets have as much space as this wallet does. This wallet is the one that actually, like, you can fit a phone, an iPhone, in this wallet for real. Uh, you could fit some of the Samsung models in it, but anyways, I think it was made more to fit the, the uh, iPhone. But this one has the red interior. I've taken out most of my credit cards out of here because I don't want to take them on the trip. But. It's a very functional wallet. You can even carry this around like as a clutch when you don't want to carry around uh, a regular size purse because this is really big and sometimes it's a bit much. So oftentimes I will just take my wallet with me. Um, so precious to my heart. I'm not going to leave it sitting anywhere obviously. But it looks beautiful inside the terrain and I can't remember which model this uh, wallet is, but you'll notice if you go online, it's it's their uh, it's their biggest, nicest wallet. It comes in the monogram style. I I know there are smaller models that have like the little snaps, but this is the um, the zippy wallet. But it's in the size that also has the extra compartments, so you'll see it if you're interested in it. Anyways, we'll drop her in there, and let's see. One, two, three. Where's my list? List, list, list. Okay, so I covered the shoes. I covered my turn. I covered my um, sunglasses. Oh, uh, chorus. One thing you're not going to find easily while you're out and about traveling is wigs. Wigs are like kind of a strange phenomenon. Some cities you'll find them easily, like let's say Las Vegas. There's a lot of wig shops around there. I mean, we got the showgirls and the drag queens. There are going to be wig places galore. Now, over in Europe, not so sure how big wigs are going to be. 
I know I've seen lots of YouTubers from Europe wearing wigs, but I don't want to take any chances. And there are a couple of wigs that I will be taking me for sure. Um, one of which, you know, poolside, I'll probably be wearing my uh, my Noriko Jackson wig. I mean, because that wig is just so easy to put in a ponytail. And it looks pretty cute. Um, parted right in the middle because it's like a, it's a shorter wig. So it looks cute parted in the middle and look pretty edgy with some of my dresses. But I probably will bring my, um, my Envy Brianna wig because she is just so easy, uh, such an easy go-to. She's so classy and classic and I just, there's just nothing to compare her to. I'm considering bringing my Bobbies, but I don't know. They're pretty different. Um, what I mean by different is I have one in red and one in blonde. And since this trip is kind of, there'll be some moments where it's a little business-like. We'll be around um, a lot of my husband's peers. I don't want to pretend, you know, that I'm just, uh, you know, as diva-ish as I actually am. So I don't want them to see me in uh, one day red and then one day blonde. That might be a little bit much for some people to take. So I think I'll bring this uh, brown Brianna. I think it's about brown, brown, but it's a highlighted brown. And I think I can get away with that for a few dinners. But mostly I'm going to probably be wearing this Danity and, um, and the Alpine Meadow that is the absolute same wig as this one, as you saw in my other videos. I'm so into this wig right now. I love it. And I've even been wearing it as a center part. But I'll have to tell you guys, um, one of my uh, YouTube commenters told me that on these less expensive wigs, all you have to do is turn the wig to get it the part where you want it. You don't actually move the hair, you move the wig. And I did try that. I wore it for a week that way. And uh, I almost have like a little bit of a sore behind one of my ears from doing that. And so not so sure that's the best way to go. And maybe if somebody can tell me a uh, good way around that. I'm actually thinking about even cutting off one of the ear tabs on this wig <laughs> just to manipulate it just so so that I can wear it as a center part, but we'll see. Anyways, so far this is the most comfortable way to wear this wig. And it is on my must-have to go into my bag wigs. So last but not least, um, one of the things that I think is just a signature of a woman is her scent. And so I'm going to bring a couple of perfumes with me that are my absolute favorites this year. And both of them, <laughs> believe it or not, were gifts from my husband. He picks out the best scented perfumes for me. I, I guess I must have some kind of weird scent, you know, problem because I don't pick out that nice of perfumes for myself. I guess I just can't smell what smells good on me, but he seems to do it really well. So I will show you my two choices here and we have Modern Muse Le Rouge by Estee Lauder. This one he got me for Christmas and I absolutely love this scent. It's just like the right the right mix of like woody florals that is just so musky. I just oh uh, I absolutely love it. It's just so sexy. This is just the thing. I mean, just go just go over to the makeup section at your Nordstrom or Macy's and smell this scent. It's so good. Um, the other one he got me, I think he got me this one a couple years back. So I know it's still out there, but it may not be like right in front of you on the uh, you know displays. This one is Issey Miyake. Oh, let's see. It's uh. Le Eau de Issy in Absolu. I think if you put in Issy Miyake Absolu, this will come up. There may be other colors of this bottle that might be other scents, but this one is this golden yellow color, so you'll be able to distinguish it from this. But anyways, this is the most beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys will not believe it when you smell this. It's like Vanilla sex, okay? <laughs> that is the only thing I can use to describe this. Oh, it is the best smell ever. I've been using this sparingly because I'm so afraid I'm going to run out of this at the wrong moment. I should just get a backup bottle, you know, so I don't worry about stuff like that. I mean, right? Right. 
So I encourage you to go straight out and find this perfume because if you smell anything like me, this scent is perfect for you. But also the Modern Muse is very popular this year and I got this like beautiful set um, that came with us at Christmas. It came with like this adorable little, um, one side was uh, like a lip gloss and then the other side had a perfume roller on it. it was so cute. Anyways, it's still probably out there. You could probably buy it for your lady friends if you wanted to give it as a gift. But I really like this perfume as well. Probably not as much as this one, but this is the one that's going with me because it's got, you know, just kind of like a edgy scent to it. And I like, I like edgy over too good and too romantic and too sexy because edgy, you know, gives you an air of respectability. Too sexy and romantic kind of makes me feel weak. Weak, sexy, beautiful, strong and powerful. Mmm. Mm, you make the decision. So anyways, like and subscribe to this video. I'll make more of them and hopefully I'll be looking less bratsy last next time. And um, if you don't know what a Bratz doll is, you should totally Google it because probably one of the ugliest dolls that ever came out. And sorry, I was a fan of Barbie for a long time and I just look at the Bratz doll and I'm like, what the hell? Okay guys, so I'll see you next time. You know what to do. Bye.